If you think your work is done after you add the final b-roll to the timeline, you're wrong. You still need to export the video and if you do it wrong, all your hard work could go to waste. That's why I'm here to teach you how to export your projects correctly. Before you get started, you need to think about where you plan to upload your video. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or did you edit family video from your last trip to the mountains? Because the requirements for export settings will be different for each answer. Wait, what kind of settings? There are five main parameters parameters, format, codec, resolution, bitrate, and aspect ratio. By choosing the right export settings, you can ensure that your video looks its best on any platform and device. Video format is a way of storing video data. It determines how video data will be encoded and decoded. There are many different video formats, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. MP4 is the most common format. You may remember how in 2007, we all watched videos on small screens of flip phones, and then we all switched to smartphones. That's when the transition from old 3GP to modern MP4 happened. You may have also thought that MP4 is a music format like MP3. No, it's a video format. If we open Movavi Video Editor and click the Expert button, we will see a few familiar names in the list of formats. AV is another popular video format aimed more at computers. MKV is also a familiar format. It supports a wider range of features than MP4 or AV, and that's why you can often download movies in MKV. So, which format to choose? Video format can affect video quality in several ways. First, some video formats handle compression better than others. This means that they can preserve high video quality at a smaller file size. Second, some video formats support higher resolutions and bit rates than others. This means that they can play videos with higher quality. That's why YouTube asks videos to be exported in the popular MP4 format, ensuring high compatibility with a variety of platforms platforms and devices. Instagram and TikTok also ask to export an MP4. By the way, MP4 is the default export format in Movavi Video Editor, making the export process as simple as possible. In addition to format, there is also a codec. Codec is an algorithm that is used to encode and decode video. It determines how video data will be converted. Like video formats, there are many codecs, but the two main ones are H.264 and MPEG-4. H.264 is a newer codec that provides higher video quality at a smaller file size. This means that video compressed with H.264 will look better than video compressed with MPEG-4, but the file will be smaller. Therefore, it is best to export all videos in H.264. Moreover, this is the codec that YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram recommend. And by the way, if you plan to upload videos to TikTok or YouTube, Movavi Video Editor allows you to upload videos directly from the editor. Simply log into your account and export the video straight to your account. This will help avoid additional compression by the platform's built-in algorithms and preserve maximum quality, not to mention the time you save. Time saving is the foundation of Movavi Video Editor. The program offers a wide range of cool video editing tools that can save you a ton of time. Removing the background with AI, easy. Smart noise removal, you can do that too. Smart tracking, automatic video cutting, it's all there. In addition, hundreds of different effects text animations, music, stickers, and so on are included in one subscription. In Movavi Video Editor, anyone can create cool videos in just a few minutes. And now the most interesting part, you can get the brand new Movavi Video Editor 2024 annual plan, the ultimate tool to create awesome videos easily. So hit the link below and grab your simple yet powerful editor for creating wow videos at a special 15% discount with promo code VLOGMAJOR. It's a limited time offer, so don't miss out. Okay, we've covered format and codec. What about resolution? In simple terms, resolution is the number of pixels that make up an image. The higher the resolution, the higher the image quality. However, higher resolution also means a larger file size. For YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, it is recommended to use a resolution of 1080p. The resolution provides good video quality with a relatively small file size. Of course, you can choose a higher resolution if you want a more detailed image, but it's important to remember that 
each platform processes high resolution video differently. So for simplicity, it's best to output video in 1080p. And since I mentioned resolution, let me say a few more words about frame rate. Although I didn't highlight frame rate as a separate parameter earlier, it's also important. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the video will be. For YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, it is recommended to use a frame rate of 30 or 60 frames per second. YouTube supports 24 FPS too, but I still recommend choosing either 30 or 60. But if you need more, Movavi Video Editor can easily handle videos with a frame rate of up to 120 frames per second. If you don't know which frame rate to choose, just look at your video. If your video contains a lot of movement, you may need to choose a higher frame rate. But if there is a little to no movement, 30 FPS will be fine. Now let's talk about bitrate. Each platform has its own requirements for bitrate, and most people don't understand what it is. In simple terms, bitrate is the amount of data used to encode video. The higher the bitrate, the better the quality of the video, but the larger the file size. You've probably seen movies on popular websites just falling apart when action happened. That's because of the low bitrate. The video can be in 4K resolution, but if the bitrate is low, it will look terrible. That's why I always try to export my videos at the maximum bitrate that the platform can handle. YouTube recommends a bitrate of 10 to 15 megabits per second for 1080p videos and 45 to 85 megabits per second for 4K videos, depending on the frame rate. This ensures good video quality with a relatively small file size. Instagram recommends 5 to 10 megabits per second for 1080p videos, and TikTok recommends 15. If you don't want to worry about bitrate, you can just choose auto or VBR. VBR stands for variable bitrate, which means that the bitrate of the video can change depending on the complexity of the frame. This allows to reduce the file size without significantly sacrificing video quality. For simplicity, just choose VBR and the highest quality and you're gonna be just fine. In the same section when exporting, you can also choose the sample rate for the audio. This parameter usually directly depends on the sample rate of your original audio. For simplicity, I always set it to 48,000 and get the maximum quality. I recommend you do the same. Now let's talk about aspect ratio. It's really simple. For YouTube, you need to use horizontal 16 by nine because this aspect aspect ratio is the standard for most videos and it provides good image quality on a wide range of devices. If you really need to, you can choose a custom aspect ratio in Mobile Video Editor by simply clicking on the chain icon and entering the desired resolution, which will directly affect the aspect ratio. If you need to make a vertical video for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube Shorts, use an aspect ratio of 9 by 16. To change the aspect ratio of the project, click on 16 by 9 under the pre view window and switch to 9 by 16. The program will automatically change the resolution if you're making a vertical video from a horizontal one. You can crop the video and fit it to the vertical format in the more tools and crop and rotate. Every time you export a video, you should check to make sure that all the parameters are set correctly for the specific platform. For uploading videos to YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, use a resolution of 1080p and frame rate of 30 and 60 frames per second and bit rate of 25 to 30 megabits per second and the MP4 format, H.264. This will give you the maximum quality with the minimum file size. All right, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.